Welcome to Linda's TV show, the home of news. Your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for a favor, smash on that red button that says subscribe. Beside that red button is a notification bell. The essence of that bell is for you to be updated or informed each time or day I upload a new video. My returning subscribers, those who keep on watching my videos each time I upload, I appreciate your presence. I appreciate your comments in all my videos, both negative and positive ones. Thank you. God, we are so mad to be seeing all this nonsense going on. We want Biafra. Where if we are going to base on brain economy, our Biafra economy is going to be brain based. Where problem will be solved practically. Not all these stupid people that are just, you know, criminals everywhere. Obi should tell you how to solve the fundamental problem of Nigeria. It is not education. Nigeria has the most educated people in Africa is in Nigeria. So what has that education done in Nigeria system? Why is it not being felt in Nigeria? Obi go away, you know, he said education, university. Nigeria have the highest professors. Is Obi not aware? Is Obi not aware in Africa today, Nigeria produce the highest professors? Where is the impact in the Nigeria system? You see, when we open mouth to talk, they say uh, we are insulting them. But look at you leave you, the problem of Nigeria, you talk something that is not a problem. <laughs> I stand to be corrected. Challenge me that it is education that is the problem of Nigeria. Challenge me that it is school that is the problem of Nigeria. No, it is not. The problem of Nigeria is not school. The problem of Nigeria is not universities. The problem of Nigeria is beyond what will be is calibrating and parading himself. And that is why some of you who have not yet returned back to your base of Biafra will understand that Obi is leading you to Astrid. But let me tell you, everything you do with Obi today will end before November. Mark, mark it. We will force you to reverse. If you think university is the problem of, or we solve the Nigeria problem. Tell me how. Can Obi explain how education or how university, building university will solve Nigeria problem? I want you to, I want Obi to tell me, is there anything Obi want to put in university in Nigeria that is not obtainable today? I, you know, these are the problem. So I am telling you that in OB will go and they say school. I am thinking about university because when you have school, school will bring people out of poverty. Where you are, is a lie. OB is running out of uh, a story. OB don't you know in Nigeria will make you to be a fool, and that is what is happening to OB. OB is struggling to maintain the script written to him from London. And that is what you see, and it is making him to be a very stupid man. I want you to listen. As you know, I'm particularly about it. On issue of university and also education, as you know, I'm particularly about the education. And I thank you and all the AG members for the prayers. Let me assure all of you, we need prayers in our country. We need prayers in our country. Obi is still talking about prayers. Obi is still talking about prayers. When nations are solving their problem practically, Obi is relying on prayer. And that is what they are following. 
All the church in Nigeria, they have been praying. Did he stop Fulani from killing? All the church in Abuja, they have built dome in Abuja. Did he stop them from entering Abuja and shooting gun? It is practical, solving problem practically with the brain God gave you. They are praying. Oh, we are praying for Boko Haram to end. Oh, we are praying for Boko Haram to go blind. Oh, we are praying for Shehu to be to go blind. We are praying that when they want to shoot the gun, let the gun not work. Oh, we are praying if they enter road to come to Abuja, let them fall inside the river. Oh, can you imagine that? Illusional. So listen to him. Listen to him. The time I finish, I will tell you your prayer points. Because part of why I believe we are getting it wrong okay. is that our prayer points need change. Okay. Oh, we believe that where he's going to solve problem. <laughs> Obi, Obi believe that the reason why you have problem in Nigeria, you are praying the wrong prayer. <laughs> so when he become a president of uh, Nigeria in uh, in heaven or in dream, he will change your prayer point. You know, uh, it may be the prayer point it didn't work this time. Next year he will change a new prayer point, and uh, there is no practical solution. Is going to be a prayer point. Oh, yeah, let us watch. I will give you the prayer point when I end. For me, I have to see I appreciate it. And like the our father in faith have said, it's not a political right. It shouldn't be a political rally. I said it. People should go to the church or place of worship to discuss about politics. But I also said to the church, do not walk away from politics. We need to refresh. Obi is preaching the division. Obi is preaching division. Obi is telling you church walking away from politics is the reason why we are suffering today. So can he go to not? And tell them in the mosque that mosque or Muslims or mosque walking away from election or from politics is the problem we are having today. Or will he go there and have a different message for them? He is trying to lure church members to vote him as a Christian. And that is also dividing Nigeria. That is not in the spirit of one Nigeria that he is preaching. So if you want to divide Nigeria into two, let Christian vote him and let Muslim vote other people. That is what he's doing. And he does not represent the thing he preach. He is preaching one Nigeria. Let Obi campaign in the mosque. The number of churches, mega churches has visited now. Let him visit the exact number of mosques like he's visited in the church. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know. I don't know. Watching okay, God does not hear the prayer of the wicked, e.g., murderers like it to be until he tells us what happened to his river. Period, exactly the way it is. And that's why we are not giving him a British space because God is, God is God is talking to us to deal with him. We are dealing with him mercilessly every day. All the people he have, they are dropping. They are dropping him because there is no road there. And before November this year, I got P.O. Tale. I got P.O. Tale in them more. Obi will be running from, from north to south and north before November this year. 
So ask Obi, why is he preaching only in the church? It is against the constitution because he should be preaching one Nigeria. So his campaign should not be channeled to church. in a nation the suffering that are going on today are AG members and church members when you walk away from politics, people suffer. He is calling himself AG members, and he just entered the church for the very first time. He made himself a member already. T.O., thank you for your super chat. I hope we'll get Biafra. We're already there, believe me. The church doesn't have a plan for the cheaper. Do they have? Do they have a road where their players travel that other people don't travel? Schools that are closed today, universities that are closed today, unacceptable anywhere in the world. Some are edgy members. So the church can keep quiet. We keep quiet enough. We cannot allow a situation we find our ways in Nigeria today. We are lunatics that are taking over the asylum. Nigeria cannot continue the way it's going today. And it's your prayers. Your prayers is you're not asking for anything more. Okay. You're asking just for good governance. Aha. You're asking them hope <laughs> to build a place for your children. We want to give the children of this country hope. We are to live in. They are asking for more. And the prayer is going to make that possible. That is the most illusional thing. Prayer is going to ask Fulani not to come to kill your children. Prayer is going to stop the 1989 Abuja declaration that have pumped $21 billion. Is Obi aware of that? is will be aware that the insecurity he is talking about today is as a result of 21 billion dollars investment of the Fulani government from the day of this uh, Islamic organization and Nigeria become the member of the Islamic organization is will be aware of that is the prayer going to destroy the plan of the 1989 Abuja declaration of the Islamic State how is this prayer going to do that Obi don't know all these things, and people are following some uh, few people are following him ignorantly. He go from church to church, contradicting himself. We have 100 million Nigerians living in poverty. Uh -huh. We have our young ones who have gone through without job, without a future. This is one thing about Obi. Obi say they have 100 million Nigerians. Living in poverty. Where did Obi get that number? Who told Obi that Nigeria has 100 million people living in poverty? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh God. <laughs> a country that has no data system, no database system, a country that has no nothing to show for anybody, a country that doesn't even know how, how, how many people are there, a country that has no nothing, no, <laughs> no registration of anything, Obi is giving you a figure. Statistics from heaven, 100, 100 million people are in poverty. <laughs> Ask Obi, where did he get this figure? He can't tell you. Is there, did, they, did they count your village people? <laughs> did they, was your village people counted? <laughs> he will just open his mouth and be giving you figures.
They are not asking for anything. They want an opportunity to earn a living. It is not too much for their country to give them. So I'm going around asking people. So he's going around asking people to do whatever they want. On politics. We have an election coming up in 2023. P2B is not asking you today for votes for P2B. I'm asking you to sit down and scrutinize all those that are offering themselves for election. Did you hear that? He is not asking you to vote for P2B. <laughs> He's not. He's not asking you to. I don't know what this man is just too annoying to listen to. He is not asking you to vote for B2B. He's only asking you to, to sit down and scrutinize all the people that are offering themselves. So I don't <laughs> I think this I think this man is the most dull, you know. This man is a, he doesn't behave like him about <laughs> How did he make his money? This man is saying. He is not asking you to vote for P2B. He is asking you to sit down and, and look at those. <laughs> Try. What the, what the, what the confused man. So what is it? What is he doing? <laughs> this is just too annoying. I can't, I can't, I can't listen to, if not because of this one, I can't just sit back and listen to this nonsense. <laughs> Chai. I don't know whether he think he's smart. You know, you know. And I'm not asking you to vote for Peter. B. I'm asking you to sit down and assess the. <laughs> Hi, Chineke God. We don't have us an escape. <laughs> Let's know who we are. Yes. And Let's then, ask question who we are. And then after that, after asking question. We ask you to vote Peter. <laughs> Not to define who we are. It is important for you. Are you hearing that? Peter B is telling you, let us verify who we are. <laughs> let us verify who we are. Peter B know that uh, um, 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 uh, have no identity. Yet, Nigeria recognized Tinubu. That is why he said, let us verify who we are. Nigeria gave Tinubu power. Yet, Peter B is struggling to verify who we are. Peter B knows that Atiku is not a Nigerian. Nigeria recognizes Atiku. Yet, Peter B is telling you, let us bring Atiku and, and uh, Tinubu into the scale. And let us verify them. That is what he's telling you. He is an Igbo man. Everybody knows where he comes from. But where are other people? Where do they come from? Nobody knows. Nobody knows where Tinubu come from to today. Nobody knows. Some people say Atiku come from Dama. We know he's a Fulani. So Peter B is telling you now, let us verify them who they are. Yet Nigeria made them. So how will Peter B solve such problem? How will Peter B as a president of Nigeria? Stop making Nigeria to give power to people that you cannot verify. <laughs> huh? I just want you to know how stupid this P2B is. Dragging Biafra, distracting us. Do not say because P2B is from East, uh -huh. I will vote for him. Uh -huh. Are you Do hearing not it? vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. Are you hearing it? He is still maintaining it. Do not vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. Do not vote for anybody because he's from the West. Do not vote for anybody because he's from the West. Yet, Peter B is not a mosque in, a, in the North. Too. Do not vote for anybody because he's from the North. Okay. This is time to vote a human being who has conscience and trust. Exactly. Can Peter B go to North and tell them the same thing? I want to hear it as a handle microphone in Central Mosque, Abuja. Central Moss Medugri, Central Moss Gombe, Central Moss Yobe State, Central Bauchi, and all of that. 
So if Peter B is not the one, if Peter B is not the one to be trusted, don't vote for him. Are you hearing that? <laughs> don't vote for him because he gave you money. Are you hearing that? Because he will steal your money. Are you hearing that? <laughs> this is the time we have seven months. You have seven months to ask questions. We speak to be. All right. Where did he go to school? No. Uh -huh. what? You know why they are, you know why he's saying this? Who is Peter Obi? Where did he go to school? We know. We know who is Peter Obi. We know where Peter Obi go to school. Peter Obi know that Tinubu did not go to school anywhere. And he is challenging them to ask. He can't He can't be bold to say it now because he is not on a serious bishop. <laughs> he can't be bold to say Tinubu did not go to school. Yet Nigeria recognized him. He become a leader. They made him governor. Tinubu did not go to school. They gave him ticket to become president. Atiku did not go to school. He become a vice president. Atiku did not go to school. He become custom officer. Atiku, all these things will be know it. That is why he is saying, you know where I go to school. You know where I live. You know where I come from. Where are other people come from? Yet, Nigeria, Obi is going to become president in the, in the dream. You know, make these people who they are without identity. Where are his families? Who are those who say they uh -huh. are living with him? Let's verify who he is. Uh -huh. yeah. Ask question. Uh -huh. Don't listen to our grammar. Uh -huh. But Nigeria recognized them. Nigeria gave them who they are. Don't even look at our certificate. Uh -huh. Yes, you can ask me when the question. Uh -huh. But remember that educational policy is not a measure of integrity. Exactly. That is it. Exactly. Now, you are contradicting yourself. That is why I say schools, university cannot solve Nigeria problem. And you just hit the nails. You say that educational qualification is not a measure of integrity. That is it. Why then do you think that Nigeria problem lies in the schools? Are you seeing a person that is confused? You know when somebody is cramming something he is saying, you will be making this kind of blunders. This particular place, this man say, I am thinking about school, university, building school. Nigeria problem is that is school, education, this, that. Yet, he come back again to tell you, qualification is not to measure integrity. That's integrity, but education does not solve this Nigeria problem. Nigeria problem is beyond, is deeper than education. The system of Nigeria is rotten. And there is no amount of education, qualification you get, there is no amount of school you build in Nigeria that will solve it without going to the root of the problem. And that is why we want Biafra. That is what we want this Nigeria to break up. That is why we are living next year, either by force, by peace, or in pieces. And he know all these things, but because he has been given a script to come to Nigeria and act. So listen to him. There's so many criminals that went to school. Uh -huh. There's so many people who went to school who are criminals. Uh -huh. And Nigeria recognized them and their criminality. Nigeria, because of their criminality, gave them positions of power. It is time to ask about people's style. Where they live, where they live, everything. Uh -huh. Who want to be a president of a, a gangster country? Peter B don't understand that Nigeria is a gangster country. He wants to be a president of a gangster country. He is scared to mention Tinubu name. That is to show you this man is a scam. Nigeria is a gangster country. And for you, like Obasanjo, who was the former president, Obasanjo said, for you to be a Nigeria president, you must be mad. Nigeria needs crazy people. He said that Nigeria needs crazy people. So how can this man, who is scared to mention Tinubu with his own mouth, will become a president and make impact? 
in the country of gangster and criminals and terrorists. <clears throat> Don't listen to our promises. Ask question. The ones we promised in the past, how did we keep it? That is important. This country is not productive. We want to give people a job. <laughs> people want to work. Today, everybody said there's great insecurity everywhere. Our Father and the Lord have said there's a because of sit at home. <laughs> These are all that start that will cause my money. You can have 100 million people who don't know where the next meal will come from and you have security. He's talking about sit at home. Let me hear it. No. It lost it. Insecurity can be have been fought in other countries of the world. Did you hear happy to be avoided sit at home? Did you hear happy to be dodged Peter, uh, sit at home because he is scared of even you know what you know the implication of that apart from the fact that now all my yoga can say aboki for coming out as a pre to contest the president did you hear happy to be dodged the sit at home let us take it back it is all that cost it i have security no it is all that cost it. Insecurity. We don't know where the next meal will come. Our Father and the Lord have said this uh, because of sit at home. Are you hearing that? Our Father and the Lord have said that because of sit at home. He dodged that part because he knows how resolute we are. Our Father and the Lord have said this uh, because of sit at home. These are all that start that will cause my mind in the street. You can have 100 million people who don't know where the next meal will come from. I have security. No. It is all that cost it. Insecurity can be have been fought in other countries of the world, in South America, in Asia. The more you pull people out of poverty, the more you reduce criminality. How? How will you do it in full of People's businesses are collapsing. Our children are not in school. <laughs> For four months, nobody cares about them. Uh -huh. Because they're not children of politicians. Yes, exactly. Our children are in schools overseas. Yeah, exactly. So those who are here cannot be in school. Yes. People are dying because there's no health care. Uh -huh. Nothing. Yes. This is time to ask questions about all of us. Exactly. People are dying because of there is no hospital. P2B did not build hospital in Anambra State. P2B gave hospital certificate. He used the money he's supposed to use to build the hospital, bank it, and they turn the money into business money, into turnover money. Peter B use a money, use the money he supposed to use to develop Anambra State, invested it. Today he is complaining there is no hospital. Thank you so much, my wonderful viewers, for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end. Like I said before, if you like what you see here, if you like what I do in this platform, as you have finished watching this video, please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notifications. In that way, you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. Share my videos, leave your comments in the comment section constructively. Until I meet your way again in my next video, I still remain your Linda's TV show. Bye-bye.